The Hundred Dresses by Eleanor Estes. First, here's a brief description of the characters. Wanda is from the wrong part of town. She's very poor. She wears the same dress to school every day. It is shabby, but it's always clean and pressed. Wanda tells the other girls at school that she has a hundred dresses at home. Peggy is the most popular girl in school. Every day, she teases Wanda by asking her how many dresses she has and what they look like. Maddie is the narrator of the story. Her best friend is Peggy. She hates when Peggy teases Wanda, both because she knows it's wrong, but also because Maddie is poor, too. Not as poor as Wanda, but also poor. She's afraid if she stands up for Wanda, they might start teasing her, too. Here's a brief description of the plot. The book begins with Wanda missing for several days. Maddie, the character telling the story, has a series of flashbacks explaining what would happen when Wanda would come to school. Every day, the girls would stand outside and wait for Wanda to come. Whenever she would come, Peggy would lead the pack and ask Wanda how many dresses she had, what they looked like, how many shoes she had. They would go on and on, laughing and giggling, and they would do it every single day. Maddie has always hated it. She thinks about it all the time, but she also convinces herself that there's nothing that can be done. She also convinces herself that Peggy, her best friend, is really a kind person. At first, no one notices that Wanda is gone. They finally notice because they're waiting for her to tease her and she never comes. Days pass and she doesn't return to school. In class, there's a drawing contest. On the day that they are supposed to announce the winner, Wanda is still gone. When they walk into the classroom, they see 100 beautiful dresses hung around the room, just like Wanda had described. The teacher announced that Wanda had won the contest. She also tells the kids that Wanda's father has written a letter to the class. The father says he is moving his children to a place where they won't be made fun of for their last name or for how much money they have. The rest of the story focuses on Maddie and how she is absolutely consumed with guilt. She does everything that she can to make it right, and she finally realizes that no matter the consequences, she will stand up for someone being teased by others if it ever happens again. The bottom lines here are characters in depth and theme. In addition, students are working on vocabulary and context for the first time. They do the vocabulary warm-up with you at their guided reading table. From here, my recommendation is to go into the lesson plan and quickly read the focus questions and exemplar responses for the entire book. After that, you should be all set to teach this book.